And a data democracy then is this sort of I ideal that we'd like to get to where we've all got timely and equitable access to the data. Doesn't mean the data's free, doesn't mean the data's open, because you might choose to share your data subject to some rule. You know, certainly in government there, you know, we can talk about the role of data in democratic process. So improving transparency and accountability in government, that's the big drive in, in open government and open data. Um, and then there's also this concept of democratisation of data, which is um, citizen science and the ability to generate new insights from these digital smoke signals, the, the signals that people leave behind on their interactions with service providers, government service providers and private sector on the web. Data, data is only useful if it's accessible. And you need to ask what audience you are addressing and in what form that data will be producing information that can be presented to that audience. And I'd have to say that, that it is probably a very difficult thing for the person on the street to understand how such an inordinately large and complex mass of data can be of any value whatsoever. So the bit in between, the bit that democracy, the data democracy concept requires is a truthful, articulate and clever storyteller or a picture painter. And those are the data analysts. Well, from a research perspective, I suppose we've often been interested in accessing data that government or other organisations hold. Um, the first phase of research is often to understand what we already know about a particular subject matter area. So if, if we're looking at the health and wellbeing of a, a regional community, we might want to understand what the ABS statistics are for that region. We might want to look at some of health and human services information. We might want to understand what some of the crime or other uh, uh, factors might be that are already known about the region. Those are the people that come around and say, well, look, OK, we've got a bit of data over there and a bit of data over there. How about we bring them together to see if we can form a picture? For me, there's a two-way dialogue. Governments are not a one-way dialogue with the community. We, through the advent of da um, big data, data analytics and our capabilities through the Internet of Things, can engage in a two-way manner with our community. People can be involved in information gathering. They can then use the synthesis from that information, the insight from that information to help make decisions about their own life, their family, their community, what matters to them. You know, I think in the past, data was generated by government, um, map data, for example, um, or in the, in the past, um, journalists were, were or, or uh, news was generated by journalists. Now we have everybody blogging, everyone's a photographer, Everyone's producing maps. They can contribute to very large-scale mapping efforts through um, open street map. They can contribute to knowledge bases through Wiki, Wikipedia and those kinds of things. Um, everyone's their own journalist. Everyone's their own photographer. And that's really democratised the production of information. And so, you know, there are real benefits in the public good for putting all of those, da all those data sets together. To, to do that. Now you want to be able to do that in a way that people are quite happy to be able to contribute their data for that to happen but without losing any benefit themselves and that, that's really important. Unless you can do that effectively data democracy won't work.